All right, this one's gonna be on Python's virtual EMV or virtual environment here. It's basically kind of like a container type of system, or if you ever use Wine Prefix, it's kind of the same thing where you're isolating different programs so it doesn't break when you use it. Uh, and that's the reason why I started using this because uh, you know I have stuff breaking because of missing dependencies when I update or whatever. Anyways, this one should solve it, right? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Pretty simple. First, you need to install uh, basically Python, of course. Now, Python by itself, I think it gives you Python 3. Some programs, uh, like older programs, they need Python 2, right? So you can install either or or both, uh, depending if you're using, uh, you know, programs that requires them. The next thing you need to do is install uh, this uh, virtual EMV here. Uh, what was that? And this one is is for creating those uh, you know virtual environment containers here. So this one is uh, Python three. This one is Python two. I don't think you need to install both, but if there's ever a case where you need to do it, then install both, I guess. Uh, but anyways, how do you use this here after you have it? Right now, this folder is empty here, and if you want to create a new uh, virtual uh, environment. All you gotta do is type in a virtual env and then give it a name like if you have a project name you want to use or whatever name you want since this one is uh we're gonna install dosage for this example i'm gonna call this one dosage here right and um like i said um by default it will use whatever python version that your system uses um you know that's the default so this one right now is using python 3 and it generates uh, or it's installed all the basic stuff like uh, setup tools, the pip and wheel, and so on and so forth. And it even creates you a folder here called dosage. And you can list it out with tree here if you want. All right, and these are the, folder, uh, the files and folders it generates for you. Anyways, after you have that, um, you would actually have to activate it before you can use it. So to activate it, it's pretty simple. Um, we have this folder. We can do source, and then uh, this one's called dosage, uh, and then in bin, and then activate. And once you activate it, how do you know you're in it? You have this little thing on the side of the name of that virtual environment, which is called dosage here, right? So that's how you know you're in this um, virtual environment here. And you can do all the basic stuff, but mainly if you want to install uh, uh, Python packages, you can do like pip, search, um, what is that, dosage, and I'll tell you, okay, this is the package we have, a comic strip downloader, um, so you can actually install this real simple, you do pip install uh, dosage here, right, so there you go, it installs it, and you can use dosage dash dash help for the flags and so on and so forth, um, now, once you get out of it, um, what is that? We can do deactivate. If I spell it right, deactivate. And now we're back to our normal shell. You can see that it doesn't have that little um, container name no more, right? Or this uh, virtual environment name no more. So that's how you know you're out and you're back to your normal shell here. Um, and then you can't call it like you used to, like you do dosage dash dash help, because this one's not global, right? So they don't understand it. So to call it, you actually have to do it uh, manually like you did before, which is uh, just going uh, to that bin folder, dosage, and that's where the program is located at. I spelled it right here, dash dash help. So if you're using this in a cron tab or whatever script you have, you want to point it to the exact path of wherever it's located at. I mean, a way around this is to set the path, but um, since we're doing multiple um, virtual environments, that's not really practical, so we're not going to set any paths here. Anyways, uh, that one for is for one called Dosage, but the main reason why I wanted to do this one was for FlexKit, and um, it was really annoying, like I said, it, the, the fucking dependencies will break like every time I do an update or whatever. So how do you fix this? It's pretty simple. Uh, we we'll install it on a, its own virtual environment, and hopefully it will never break again, right? But let's do it here, virtual uh, env, and this time I want to use a different flag. So we'll do a help here first of all, just to show you the flags that we're going to be using here. 
we're going to use a dash p flag and this one will tell uh, will allow us to use different uh, python versions so you can use like python 2.5 uh, 3 or whatever 2.7 whatever it is you have the main reason for that is that python um, the package that I'm going to install requires python 2.7 or 2 or something like that and that's why we want to use that here so if you don't know what python version you have installed in your system you can always type in python and just push tab and it'll show you all the possible ones that um, you have you know on your system so I have 2.7 3 3.4 which is basically all the same shit anyways but okay so that's how you know what python version you have on your system and um, to create a new one we do a virtual env and we'll do a dash p flag do that right here and we wanted to use python 2.7 here right if you have other version you can type in like 3.4 or whatever the hell you have but I have 2.7 and I need it for this program flexkit so this is the environment name here uh, flexkit so we create a new one and you can see that it says the interpreter is 2.7 and so on and so forth and it creates us a new uh, virtual environment called flexkit and to activate it we do the same thing source uh, flexkit activate uh, actually bin and inactivate and in here we are now in the flexkit's uh, virtual environment so if you do uh, python dash v you can see that in this one we're using python version 2.7.10 here uh, as opposed to my system it uses uh, Python 3.4.3 here, right? So you can see the difference. Anyways, back to uh, this virtual environment here. In here, let's say we search for um, FlexGit, which I don't think we need to search, but let's say we did. So there you go, it has FlexGit here. This is the program we're gonna install. Uh, you can do pip install uh, FlexGit. And we'll wait for it to install here. And there we go, that's it, right? And now you can actually uh, use FlexKit now if you want. You can do like help, so on and so forth, all right? Up to you. Anyways, once you're done, you can always do deactivate and you get back out to your normal shell here. And like I said before, if you want to call it, you can't call it globally like just FlexKit only. You actually have to uh, type out the path, like I said. And this one is in um, FlexKit bin and then flex get and then you can do like a dash dash help here right so if you're doing this from a cron tab or something like that you want to use the uh, absolute path to it when you're calling uh, the programs in here anyways that is it for uh, Python's virtual environment or virtual env pretty cool to isolate dependency issues uh, for the packages that you need whether you're developing uh, you know, your Python program or whatever, uh, or if you're just like me, just uh, isolating different packages that will break. Anyways, that's it for this one.